Probability Part 1 Simple Probability Suppose you did an experiment of tossing a fair coin twice. One outcome of this experiment could be you get a head on the first toss and a tail on the second toss. Another possible outcome is you get a tail on the first toss, a tail on the second toss. The set S of all possible outcomes is called the sample space. And uh, S equals, in this case, is tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, head. That's everything that can happen. Okay. An event is a collection of one or more of these outcomes. The probability of an event A occurring, we'll call it event A, is written P with A stuck in it, or P of A is the total number of ways an event A can happen divided by the total number of equally likely outcomes or the cardinality of the um, the sample space. So here it is. Number of ways A can happen over the total number of outcomes and these have to be equally likely. Probability um, can be a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. However, the probability of event A occurring must be as below. It has to be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one. A probability uh, of A equaling one means that A will certainly happen, means it's a certainty. The probability of A equaling zero means that A is impossible. It won't happen. Here's our basic problem that we're going to use. Okay. A jar contains five balls that are numbered one to five. Also, two of the balls are yellow and the other three are red. They are numbered and colored as shown below. So we have these five balls. And what we're going to do is we're going to randomly select balls out of that jar. Okay. If we randomly select, find the probability of randomly selecting a red ball. If we just close our eyes and reach in and grab a ball, what's the probability it's red? Well, there are five balls, so the size of our sample space is five. And then three of them are red, so we put the three on top. And the probability that we're going to get a red ball is three over five, okay, or 0 0.6. And the second problem. Find the probability of randomly selecting an even numbered ball. Well, again, we have five balls in the sample space, and how many of them are even? There's a two and a four. So there are two possibilities for the uh, drawing an even number ball. So the probability of, of drawing an even number ball is two fifths or 0.4. In the second part, we'll begin looking at other kinds of probability, more complex, really, kinds of probabilities. And we f we'll first start with mutually exclusive events, defining um, that.